Council General of Police who has gathered us together in thanksgiving for the Honorable Mayor Bradley. We give you thanks to this family of the great country of Belize that we can gather today. We ask that you give strength to Mayor Bradley and all elected officials that they will govern with integrity and with courage and with commitment. We have had wonderful food today. It is because you are good and you have fed us. We have met wonderful friends today. And for that, oh God, we say thank you. Continue to bless our time together. And as we leave this place, let us leave with a renewed sense of commitment to all that is good and all that is godly. We pray this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Welcome, welcome to what we view as a Belizean event whereby we come together. Whenever we come together, the first thing we end up doing is what? Eat. <laughs> have to eat. And then we listen to some good music and we have to what? Dance. <laughs> we will hold off on dancing this evening because we have limited time. But I rest assured, I'm suggesting to you that you come back tomorrow. We will be dancing. Thank you, my friends. Thank you so very much. You know, Ricardo Montalban would have said Fabiola. Fabiola is just fabulous. <laughs> Folks, we are here this evening because there's a woman by the name of Fabiola. And I would like for Fabiola to stand because this is where it all got started. Let me brief in 30 seconds share with you how come we ended up here today. Mayor Garcetti elect last year went to Belize. Private visit, not much happened. He went into a village that's called San Narcisio. The mosquitoes in San Narcisio are this big. <laughs> this big, I'm telling you. When they strike you once, you're done. And then Mayor Garcetti went back again this year for Easter. And what happened, uh, I, I know you're saying, how come you went back a second time? And, and then what happened was he went back to police for a second time. But instead of going to the village of mosquitoes, he went along the highways and the byways, and he ended up where? The wooden Hopkins. Swam with the sharks. <laughs> so when you see him, that's the first thing he talks about. Having had the ability or the opportunity to swim with the sharks. And he has now become a Belizean citizen because he enjoys it so much. But in the interim, what had happened was that Mayor Bradley, and, and let me just caution as I did the, the mayor. You see, where I'm standing right now, I'll be honest with you, he, was, he stood at this podium at least a hundred times. There was a guy by the name of Tom Bradley stood at the set program game. So I cautioned, I cautioned Mayor Darrell Bradley, and I said to him, be careful because you are standing in the image, you see, of Mayor Tom Bradley. And that has happened throughout his visit. Throughout his visit that has happened. So he had the sense, he had the sense as to what Tom Bradley was like. And my friends, if you look at him closely, if you look closely at some things he has done, they're almost similar. Mr. Bradley, Mr. May, I thank you so very much. Some three weeks ago, we, the inner city, but we had a Belizean that was involved in that presentation. I mean, a hundred kids from the inner city and Belizeans were there. We had about 60 tickets and so we sat way up in the alley. <laughs> While we sat up there, we wanted for it to be rather cool. And it was rather cool at $20 a ticket. And, and, and so we enjoyed it. And we enjoyed every second of it. A member, a member, has agreed, has graciously agreed to entertain us this evening. She's a violinist. Can you come introduce yourself and, and play for us?
be very clear that he is in fact a Mayor Bradley, not the Tom Bradley of Los Angeles, but he is the Mayor Bradley of Belize. It's visiting, 
is sharing ideas and expertise, doctors, people sending resources, people wanting to start partnerships. That is very important and that is central to our visit here. That we can recognize what you do and we can formalize greater partnerships and greater relationships. And this is our heart and the purpose for which we have come. I've also, in thinking about this Tom Bradley, because it can never escape my mind, and I will go back to Belize, and I'm sure I'll mention that sometime, and somebody will say, hey, Tom, and I'll stand up and I'll say, that's me. <laughs> but when you talk about Tom Bradley, and you talk about hey. Daryl Bradley, another thing that I was thinking about is the idea of connectivity and connectedness and how important it is for us to recognize that yes, we are distinct people. We are unique in our own way and we all offer something to God's great creation. But within our distinctive groups, we all form part of one human family. We are not separate. We are connected and we are linked in more ways than we are different. And so in recognizing that there is a Tom Bradley and there is a Daryl Bradley, we also recognize that there are great linkages between Los Angeles and Belize. Of course, we are vastly different in terms of our economic resources. We have distinctiveness that separates us greatly from this awesome city of Los Angeles. But more, and looking beyond those distinctiveness, we are very similar. I was sitting here listening to the playing of the national anthem of the United States. And I was trying to sing it in my mind, very unsuccessfully, trying to remember the words. And when you remember that anthem, I remember when I was in school, it is a song about freedom and hope that when you think about the individual who was on a ship being sent to a fort to defend his homeland, being thought or thinking that his homeland had fallen to the British, he very cold and afraid, even contemplating death as a soldier. And as he approached in the dawn, the one thing that he saw that gave him a boast of hope and inspiration was his flag. And so Americans sing about overcoming obstacles. They sing about freedom and the abiding hope that all people have to better themselves. And this is the same hope that we have. Because when you sing the Belizean anthem, what is it that we sing about? We sing about freedom, we sing about tranquility, we sing about our awesome beauty in terms of nature. And you start to recognize that beyond all of our differences, we're all the same. We all want the same things. In your coming to the United States, you all wanted to make yourselves and your family and your community better. And so we think about all these ways that we can connect. And I'm so happy tonight that there are so many members of this body who are Belizean and we recognize and appreciate that, but there's so many other people who are friends of Belize, people who contribute to our development. And so we recognize the city of Los Angeles for making a home for people, for appreciating the value that you bring to the human race your thoughts, your ideas, your experiences, that you want to come here and you're contributing to the development and distinctiveness of the landscape that is the United States. And so it gives me great pleasure that in coming here, representatives from the Los Angeles city government open their hearts and in many cases their homes to welcome us, to share ideas with us and experiences and to extend a hand of friendship for partnering with Belize. We're grateful for Flaviola, for the awesome work that she did in coordinating this visit and really extending to us her hand of friendship. We had tremendous access to some of 
the city officials. I had lunch with the mayor. He is an awesome and charismatic individual and very much a personable person. He spoke very fondly of the contributions that Belizeans have made to the diversity that is Los Angeles. We had the pleasure of meeting with senior leadership in all aspects of the LA city government, and they really gave of them their time freely to engage us, to share with us, and to challenge us. So we are very, very good that you will communicate to the highest office our sincere gratitude in the welcome that we have received. They say LA is the second home to everybody, and that is true because every single person is recognized in this community. I have been here and you talk about connectivity, people were saying, well, Mr. Mayor, let me show you this and let me show you that. And I said, well, I've seen it before because my mom lives here, my brother lives here, my uncle and aunt lives here, and it all makes you come back to this idea that we are all one. We all yearn for the same things and we all want to make our voice in the world. So we are very, very grateful to the city of LA. We're grateful to the county of Los Angeles. We're grateful to the representatives of the diplomatic corps who have attended and supported the Belize mission here always and who are present here tonight to show your support for this visit and for the Belizean community here. We are very grateful for our Consul General. I think he is doing an awesome job in ensuring that Belize and Belizeaness are represented in a very, very strong way. And it is my honor and my privilege to say thank you to him on behalf of the city council and on behalf of the wider government for the tremendous work that you are doing to reconnect people back home. I would also like to recognize your lovely wife who supported us. She was with us in Las Vegas. And both of you did an excellent face to Belize in the diplomatic corps, and we thank you and we honor you for your service. By extension, I would also want to recognize and appreciate your staff, the countless workers, who are only three, who are in the office, but the numerous other persons who serve on the task force, who work in other ways, who cook the food. Uh, Michael, who was with us, driving us around and showing us, helping us to navigate the very difficult and oftentimes seemingly overwhelming LA traffic. <laughs> and we have been warmly received both by people on the US side and also both by people on the Venetian side. In closing, I just really want to greet you. I want to say thank you. I feel when I am in the Los Angeles that I'm in Belize. <laughs> I have had the pleasure of going to at least three Belizean restaurants. And I can tell you that the food here will keep this a secret. I, I hope that the cameras are not recording. But the food here is better. <laughs> I'm amazed at the portions. I'm also amazed at the cost, because it's very inexpensive. In Belize, we get very small panadas. Here in the South Coast, that's four times the size. <laughs> One of my Thank favorite you. foods is chickpeas, and they served me a nice large bowl, and I got four pieces of pig tail. <laughs> Whoa! I need to be a little rough. But that really signifies the greatness that is our people here, and we are much, much appreciative of it. I want to also recognize on this idea of connectivity that there are people in this room that I have very, very personal connections with, aside from my family. There is Miss Molly Hewlett, who, I don't know where Miss Hewlett is. Miss Hewlett taught me when I was in Standard 5. I saw Frederick, who was in school with me when I was at Puerto Ediva. I thought he was in Belize, but 
I saw him out here and he said, I've been here for three years. And I think in that way, LA is a new Chenomar. <laughs> you go to Chenomar and you will see people that you don't see people in Venice, but it looks like now you will see people here that you don't see back home. But let me, in closing, really wish all of you a warm appreciation to say that we are eternally grateful for the contributions that you are making to the United States and the contributions that you are making and continue to make to the Belizean community back home. The diaspora is very, very, very important to us. And you in the Southern California region, you are the greatest among so that. We yearn to have formal relationships with you, ongoing. I want to thank you for coming out tonight. It is a pleasure to see so much of you. It was a pleasure to see so many Belizeans in Las Vegas. I was told that the first Belizean restaurant opened there. We had breakfast there, and the guy really showed us the love. I hope that I will have an opportunity to socialize and to meet and to greet as much of you tonight as possible. I know there are many, many people that we need to recognize and we need to thank, but I don't want to make a mistake. <laughs> so please accept my warmest gratitude and my warmest thanks for the support that we have received. Mm -hmm. And just keep doing what you are doing, which is keeping Belize alive in your heart and in your community. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the evening. Mayor, you recall this morning in our meeting with the president of the council, Herb Wesley, when you said we were in Vegas, I could see his eyes started moving. Because you, you, well, you use the word Las Vegas, you see, it's equated with gambling and all that. And, and so Herb just said, yeah, y'all had a good time. And the mayor did not, trust me. He did not. He did not. He's a working <laughs> We are joined, obviously, I'd like at this time to call the representative from the county of Los Angeles to make a presentation. Thank you, sir. The Honorable Dean of the Consular Corps of Los Angeles, Consul Ladies General and General Chenier, all protocols observed. I'm Glenda Wiener with the Los Angeles County Office of Protocol, and on behalf of the Governing Board of Supervisors of the County of Los Angeles, sir, uh, which is the most populous county in the United States with more than 10 million residents and has 88 cities besides the city of Los Angeles, which is our crown jewel. <laughs> I would like very much to welcome you to Los Angeles and I would like to just share very briefly what this says. To the, to the Honorable Daryl Bradley, Mayor of Bay City, on behalf of its more than 10 million residents, the Board of Supervisors of the County of Los Angeles, is pleased to join the Honorable Roland York, Consul General of Bay in welcoming you to Los Angeles. We wish you a most successful visit and many fond memories of your stay with us. So, sir, welcome to Los Angeles. Good night again for the third time. <laughs> I really enjoy tonight, most importantly because of the company and the fellowship. I wanted to, and I'm always remiss for doing this, introduce my lovely wife. And to go again to the idea of connectivity, my wife is from the lovely island of Jamaica, Caribbean integration. So thank you.